So as you know, it's time for your quarterly review. And oh, I gotta say, your performance has been slacking. Your tobacco picking numbers are way lower than the past few weeks. Yesterday, you passed out in the cotton fields. Just feel like your motivation isn't there. Yeah, uh, I have something to do with getting beat within an inch of my life every day. I sold my family to another plantation in another state last week. Last night, I watched one of my best friends get torn to pieces by an overseer's dog. Also, we don't really get real food. Not to mention the looming threat of death 24-7. And the constant reminder that I'm considered subhuman. Also, the threat of bodily violation in the most imaginative and terrible ways possible. We literally made one of our babies into shoes last month. I don't know, one of those could be bothering me. I think it would help if you thought of these problems as opportunities for growth. Believe it or not, we created this environment to benefit you and make you better. These harsh conditions are to teach you how to work under pressure and separating you from your family. I mean, we all love our families, but eventually we have to give ourselves space to find out who we are without them. Actually, very useful to be afraid 24-7 of being unalived or violated. It helps you stay sharp so you're always ready for anything. Actually, that will cause a chemical imbalance that will be passed down genetically to your descendants. So if any of your descendants one day are not slaves, <coughs> not very likely, <laughs> they'll have that skill too, whether they want it or not. Hey, you don't like the food? At least you're getting food. That's a scarcity mindset. You need to work on gratitude. If your friend was grateful, he wouldn't have been eaten by that dog. Learn from his mistakes. So there's other places you could be right now instead of here. Oh, like back in Africa? At the bottom of the sea? No. Uh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep a gratitude journal. Write down three things every day that you're grateful for. I can't write or read because you won't let me. See, there goes that negative attitude again.